Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So today we have uh, scene number one. It is the first scene after the covers who introduced Dr. Faustus, and now Dr. Faustus appeared on the stage. He is in his room, chamber room, or study room. He is sitting alone. So now from the the moment that Dr. Faustus appeared in front of the audience, uh, now he is the hero of the play, and he is the main character in this play, and all the action, all the events, will go around him. Now Dr. Faustus is alone on the stage, and this technique is called soliloquy. Soliloquy, or sometimes monologue, it means one character stands in front of the audience alone and he speaks his thought aloud to the audience. Now, Dr. Faustus is, is, is in his room or in his chamber. Now, as the other uh, covers introduce Dr. Faustus, he said that Dr. Faustus went to Wittenberg, to the city of Wittenberg, and at the University of Wittenberg, they call him a scholar, and they gave him the title of a doctor. Now, Dr. Faustus mastered four fields of knowledge. He is very intelligent. He is a very smart person. And uh, he mastered the first field of knowledge which is um, a theology or what is called analytics, where Aristotle mastered. Now, Dr. Faust is it's examining the fields of knowledge. And he starts with the works of Aristotle, and he just like will sum up what will happen in this field of knowledge. Now, Dr. Faust is a prophet and uh, he is very proficient in the fields or the works of Aristotle, which is analytics. But now Dr. Faust is, is saying that the end of logic is only to argue well. And now Dr. Faust is, no one can argue with him. He's a master of argumentation. And he is very famous in all Germany. Now, Dr. Faustus is saying that there is no miracle, you know, miracle, something abnormal. Um, now, Dr. Faust is looking for abnormal things. Now, Dr. Faust is not looking for something related with flesh or physical things. He is looking for the metaphysical uh, things. Now, Dr. Faust is will stop reading we stop discussing the idea of uh, logic or analytics and he finds it not a greater field of knowledge and not in fit to the field or to the wit of or the intelligence of Dr. Faustus. Now, Dr. Faustus, he is saying farewell, goodbye for this field of knowledge. He is not satisfied totally not satisfied with the, with uh, Aristotle works and he finds nothing abnormal, nothing of uh, kind of diving or uh, metaphysical things behind the works of, Arist of Aristotle. Now, Dr. Faust is also a physician. Physician here, it means uh, yani a medical doctor, Tabib. Now, Dr. Faust is he will examine uh, this field of knowledge and he is calling upon Galen. Galen was uh, a physician, uh, a very famous physician in ancient time, and now he is looking for the work of Galen. He is saying that even physics, I mean here medicine, even medicine cannot achieve the aim or the the uh, the f 
fancy of Dr. Faustus. Now Dr. Faustus already cured lots of people. Dr. Faustus made lots of permanent and very momental kind of prescriptions. Um, you know prescription? And what's what? What's what? Rashti and go Dr. He made lots of prescriptions, a very well prescriptions for curing people, and he cured many people out of maladies, out of a plague. Okay, were people escaping from plague, and Dr. Faust cured lots and lots of people, thousands of people. But now Dr. Faust is, is asking a question. Okay, can Dr. Faust is by using medicine can it bring the dead people into alive and the dead people now dr faust is only curing people but he cannot bring the people from from death into life he cannot dr faust is make a human being immortal living forever now dr faust is saying that this field of knowledge, I mean physic or uh, medicine, it sheeped lots of gold, lots of money bring for the doctor, but he cannot achieve the aim of Dr. Faustus. Now Dr. Faustus is saying farewell or goodbye for this field of knowledge, and he is looking also for the other field of knowledge which is mastered by Justinian. Justinian is a, a very famous low man in ancient time and now Dr. Faust is looking for law. Now Dr. Faust is he mastered logic, he mastered physics and also he mastered law. Now Dr. Faust is saying that this field of knowledge or this process is only related with the Literary legacies, you know, with mirath, okay, with the things that's related with money and the things that are related with with uh, physical things, okay, how to bring okay the the fortune from this person inherited to other person, okay. So this field of knowledge is only fit for mercenary drudge, it's only fit for those people who is looking for money. Dr. Faustus here is not looking for money, he is looking for the metaphysical things, for the abnormal things. And now Dr. Faust is alone on the stage, he is thinking aloud. And he is telling the audience that Dr. Faustus will stop reading, he will stop discussing the idea of logic, the idea of physics, and now also the idea of law. Okay. So this is not in fit with the intelligence of Dr. Faustus or with the wit of Dr. Faustus. Now Dr. Faustus is moving from field of knowledge to other field of knowledge and now he is moving into uh, the fourth and the last one which is divinity. Divinity here is related with Jerome's Bible, yeah, the, the man who wrote uh, the Bible and now Dr. Faust is, is attacking Christianity. And here, Christopher Marlowe, uh, the, the writer himself, they, they sometimes at that time they called him an atheist, Mulhid. And this is because the, the great attack and the, the, you know, the kind of uh, direct attack towards Christianity and here also we find uh, a very you know harsh critique toward Christianity so he's saying he's reading from the Bible which is the holy book of Christianity or of the Christian people and he is saying that if the reward of sin is death so if someone in Christianity, it's mentioned in the Bible, if someone made a sin, so a word of sin is death. So now Dr. Faust is saying that if 
if someone made a sin, he should die. But all of us, we are as a human, we made sins. So we should all die. Okay, what kind of uh, uh, an idea of this material? It is very hard to understand. So we are only just uh, deceiving ourselves. Yeah. We are only uh, not speaking the truth because all of us we may sin. So all of us we should die. Then he is saying that these fields of knowledge, all these fields of knowledge are trifle, or these fields of knowledge are not suitable to the wit and the intelligent of Dr. Faustus. Now Dr. Faustus is calling up in uh, the magic. Now Dr. Faustus is, is uh, refuting, refuting Ghani, uh, get help, is rejecting, refusing all these fields that's related with the physical things like medicine or law or logic now he is moving into the field he admired which is magic now dr faust is, is saying look he is calling up in the audience look for this field of knowledge this magic that is full of lying circles okay lots of things that mysterious for dr faust is Okay, it's ambiguous for Dr. Faust. Now, Dr. Faust, is, he has the desire to study this field, which is magic. Now, Dr. Faust is, is looking for uh, studying magic. He said that by studying magic, I'll be like a god. He said a sound magician is a mighty god. Now, he will be like a god if he masters magic. He will okay control the sky. He will control the the clouds movements. He will control the winds movements. Okay, he will be the emperor of all the kings on earth. Okay, and all the people will be under his command, under his uh uh um what we say uh, obedience. Okay, now Faustus okay is uh interrupted by the entrance of uh, his servant wagner wagner is uh, another character he is uh, a minor character appearing here he is the servant of dr faustus wagner will appear many times in this play he is imitating dr faustus and uh, Wagner also will talk with the scholars and he will summon up the, the devil in the next scenes. Now, Wagner is calling Abin Dr. Faustus. He's saying that there's the friends of you is coming. And uh, so they are coming. And here the friends, uh, they are... Uh, uh, Valdis and Cornelius, they are where Dr. Faust is now waiting for them. He is looking for them, he wants to, to learn from them the structure of magic and how to call up in the devils. Now, through this play, now uh, Christopher Marlowe was very clever in you know, externalizing the, the conflict. I already talked about the conflict uh, a, last week. Conflict is the struggle, you know, sara is the struggle between uh, either two forces, two characters, sometimes character with the, with the supernatural things or sometimes with the outside of the of the nature which is we call it like the the sea or like the sun or something like that but here in this play we have an internal conflict 
internal conflict inside every human being there is a bad and uh, there is a good things in the in in every human and also in the Kabbalists. Now by Christopher Marlowe he want to externalize this internal conflict inside the Kabbalists into the audience which is which is called the duality of the goodness and badness in every human being so he used two fictitious character the good angel and the evil angel the, um, here Christopher Marlowe he brought them from the morality play he adopted the style of the good angel and the evil angel into uh, his play there's the angels who are appearing okay, and who advise them either to do so and to do uh, and the good angel is advising always for good or for goodness while the evil angel or the bad angel is always for their advising for evilness so here the, the good angel is uh, appearing and he will advise the Faustus. He is telling the Faustus to leave magic and to leave this book, the book that, uh, which is related with the blasphemy, Daniel Kufr. Okay, and this book is damn book. Okay, so leave this book and go to the scripture, to the Bible, to the holy book, the book of God. Well, the evil angel, he is saying, no, Dr. Faustus, okay, do not leave this book, because now Dr. Faustus is inside his room, and he has lots of books, that the chamber room, or what, what we call it, the library, in his house. And now Dr. Faustus, beside him, there is the book of magic, and the book of logic, the book of medicine. Now Dr. Faustus will not study anywhere from medicine or from law or from logic but in front of him there is the book of magic which ad he admires he wants to study and now the evil angel is saying for him that you Dr. Faustus if you studied magic if you mastered magic you will be like Jove you will be like the god on earth there is the god in the sky but you will be a god on this earth you will be the the commander of the elements i mean the elements the elements of water and earth and air those are the the elements but now dr faustus he is admired the talk of the evil angel he is not listening for the good angel and he is saying oh what kind of uh, things that i will do by studying magic I'll be, okay, the master of this world. I will be the commander of all human beings. I will be the commander of even the spirit of this earth. I will send the spirits into India to bring me gold. I will send them to look for the peril from other corner of the world. I will, okay, uh, uh, what I say, here it is the wishes of Dr. Faustus okay before studying magic so he has a wishes and now Dr. Faustus is uttering his wishes in the front of the audience so Dr. Faustus by studying magic he will control the world he will send the spirits to look for fortune for him he will build a wall of brass around Germany. He will give the student of Wittenberg silk made, a cloth made of silk. Okay. And he also, he will defeat the Prince of Parma and he will chase his army and defeat him. And he will defend his country, Germany, against the, the other invaders. Okay. And he will build uh, an army, a huge army, and you will bring uh, lots of ships or keels 
in the in the ocean and also he will okay make the spirits enter his surface to defeat all the armies of the world now he is calling up in he's calling up in his friends Valdis and Cornelius here as we said that there is in this play there is a good friend of Dr. Faustus and there is a bad friend of Dr. Faustus and here Valdis and Cornelius they are the bad friends of Dr. Faustus they come to conference or to talk with Dr. Faustus now they will advise Dr. Faustus to study magic they want to attempt him the word magic they will learn Oh, sorry, they will teach Dr. Faustus how to conjure, conjure يعني, yesterday, the spirits. Now, Dr. Faustus is calling up in them, come, uh, Valdez and Cornelius, my friends, my good friends, okay, come and bring me the skills that I want to learn. I want to call up in the the devils and uh, the spirits okay so here he is saying that the 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 field that he already uh, you know studied is not is suitable for him I mean medicine or other things but now Victor Faust is looking for something for magic magic which is ravaged him with charmed him okay and it's a heart and magic okay he want to and he has the desire to study magic and now he wants or he is looking for the aid of dicta for uh valdez and Cornelius. and now they valdez is talking dicta faustus and he's saying you dicta faustus you are an intelligent person and by your skulls by your experience if you master this field of uh, I mean magic okay you will okay control the world you will control the armies you will do lots of things okay you will okay do whatever you want every desire you will achieve okay and Cornelius is telling him that there is lots of magic there is lots of uh, I mean miracles behind magic and okay they start bringing the what is uh I mean uh, legendary things or things that is uh, unreal into the idea of the thought of magic and they mix it into with the experience of Wugit and then give it to Dr. Faustus and now Dr. Faustus is sitting with them okay and he is looking for the instruction of Valdez and Canius and now Valdez and Canius they start okay teaching him okay what is required for calling up and or summon up in the the spirits now they told him to bring uh, the Hebrew Psalter, uh, the Testament, the, the Pagans, Alpatris walks on to go to a groove, into uh, a groove is something, okay, underground, okay, is a pitch, a ditch in, in the underground, in the cemetery, where it's dark and to go with all the things in his uh, hand and then to, they gave him the he gave to Dr. Faustus the spell the spell okay the the kind of uh, the words that Dr. Faustus will okay pronounce and after that will uh, Victor Faustus conjured the spirits and they told him to go at the time of the of the night.